What is up, YouTube? Or whoever is watching. This is another Super Geeks production. Today, what I'm going to show you how to do is upgrade your Backtrack 5 R1 release to Backtrack 5 R2, which came out not too long ago. Um, I might add, I've used it, and it has a lot of fixes that you saw in Backtrack 4 R2 from Backtrack 4 R1. It's going to be good for the community. Go ahead and connect yourself to the network as I did. <coughs> Put yourself in a shell. Type in these commands. You're already in root, so no need for sudo su. Go ahead and update your system. After months of development, bug fixes, and upgrades, the full release of 5R2 is available for download when you download Backtrack 5, or you can upgrade it if you already have 5R1 installed, or 5. You don't have to have R1, whatever you want to do. According to the website, this version of Backtrack Linux runs a kernel on 3.2.6. This is known for its really good wireless support, and it has a lot of fast release updates based on uh, the penetration testing style of wireless intrusion. It has a lot of new packages, five updates, and many new tools that is added also. Go ahead and type this command in. Next. This is Vistro upgrade. Notice how it's not update. Upgrade. Answer Y for yes. And also might want to add that metric. 5R2 as server side functions are a lot more stable and complete in their programming and configs. Be sure to check out blackubuntu.com or blkbuntu.com for the latest updates on Black Ubuntu and Backtrack 5. Although Linux is script based technology, once you do a kernel upgrade, you must reboot. Reason saying, script based technology as Linux is, you don't have to reboot for most things. When you install, config, remove, registry edit, which in Linux it's not necessarily a registry, it's a little different. We're not going to go into that right now. In this tutorial, I'm also going to show you how to update your sources lat list file. It's the file on under Etsy app where the repositories look for U names and actually give you hyperlinks so you can do your updating and certain programs. You'll see in just a second. It's for security, downloading different security programs.
Also included in Backtrack 5R2, the new version of Metasploit Community Edition, 4.2.0. We got new version of uh, ETCT, Social Engineering Toolkit, commonly known as SET, this version 3.0. Beef's latest version is 0.4.32, I think. And uh, that's a pretty good version of Beef there to use. Additionally, um, check out blkbuntu.com. It'll have a website list with the new tools and the functions of them, and makers among you know authors, script writers, everybody who's involved will be listed on the website we list. We list. One of the biggest changes, I think, from Backtrack 5R1 to 5R2 is the inclusion of the updates for Ubuntu in the repositories made by Linux gods, if you will. Um, it's more secure and stable, also, the repositories. It's weird, I don't know why it says 4R2 right there. <laughs> This is definitely five. R one. <coughs> Look into that later. It's probably just the same kernel, some fancy step mods. Eh, cool, it's installing a lot of different packages on top of my programs I already installed. Nice. I might add that. Black Ubuntu coming out soon, um, probably within the next six months. The newer one's going to be based on the new Ubuntu kernel 11.10. Sorry, it's taking a while. Don't really want to pause it on you once you see everything. As you can see there's a lot of changes, additions and subtractions from the kernel image. This is good. I will add Eater cap, SSL strip, ARP spoof, DHCP spoof, and well, some of the zone direction tools I used are now working that didn't really work well in 5R1. So that's a good step forward. Okay. Type this in. Alright. Cool. Let's go ahead and restart and we'll see what this looks like after that. Before we do that. Do this.
Keep going with me, trust me, you're gonna want all this. Old nipper. That's about all I can remember. Bear with me. Let it go. Let it do its thing. Let's go ahead and open up another shell 